like we love that we love that yeah take me to a place just finished a call with miss ho oh herself oh it's so it's so nice to be able to chat with her and just like and just I can't express how proud how excited I am for her for this win Laura Lee like you've done absolutely incredible and I'm so 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 proud of you like I think everyone felt this win so so hard we knew it was coming we all knew it was coming it was she was absolutely insane and like yeah I'm just so happy for her hello guys and welcome back to the channel by the way so this is going to be another week of my life I'm going to show you a little bit more of my workouts this week within this video um because we've structured out my training a little bit differently this week i'll go through it within this video of what we've changed i have checking again tomorrow so i'll film a little bit of that for you to, uh, tomorrow yeah i just want to be a bit more open in what we're doing moving forwards and it's funny because literally since the olympia it feels like a, f a flip has just switched like it feels like i really didn't like not being at the olympia this year and not like just being there at the expo but like not competing like not representing my country this year i've represented my country for the last two years and it just felt weird not being there. Like really, really weird. And I not weird in like, a, oh, I wish I was there. Like I was annoyed I wasn't there. In my brain says it all, but I, I'm gonna let my, let me sit in that for a few more weeks to see what we need to do moving forwards. But yeah, I think it was just something I needed um, for sure. Cause I haven't, again, you know what you're like, you know what it's like, you just don't feel yourself for a while. And then when you get that spark back, you're like, right, let's hold on to it. So, but anyway, we're going downstairs to the pool. Cause we've been doing that in the last couple of weeks. Like just being consistent, we're just going downstairs unwinding then going to bed so yeah we'll see you down Okay, so let's talk about training. So my training recently has been structured between adding in functional training, but also making sure that I prioritize weightlifting, of course. So in my head at the moment, I feel like I really enjoy functional training and I don't want to take that out and make all my training focused around bodybuilding just yet like it sounds really silly and i feel like i've been dragging it out and being like phoebe just train like train what you want to train you know just train bodybuilder style or like functional training whatever like it sounds really silly but obviously i still want to compete like i don't want to give it up i am going to compete i am going to step on stage one day again obviously i don't know when that time is so for me i don't want to be in a position where i have to really build and really put myself back for when i get in prep again so i want to try and sit in a place where it feels comfortable so at the moment we have structured things like this i have three resistance training sessions a week, two functional training sessions a week, I have two stretching classes a week, and I have three running sessions a week as well. So, which seems like a lot, like it probably you're listening to this and probably being like, Phoebe, like you were already burnt out and now you're doing the most again, like, really hear me out i do two lower body sessions a week one of them is a full body lower session and one of them is a glute focus session at the moment we've come to the conclusion that i do not need to grow any more of my legs but i do need to gain density that's always something i have lacked and not had enough of in my preps when i get down to the end of my preps so i want to make sure that i have that density there i don't need to grow i'm big enough but i need to maintain the density and the fullness because that's one thing in prep i always by the end of it my feedback is you need to grow more muscle but if i'm honest i don't think i need to grow more muscle i think i need to be denser and i also need to fill out properly and then we've got one full upper body session a week so shoulders and back and i mean arms if i needed to like i don't usually train arms 
but I have one bicep exercise and I have one tricep exercise. At the end of my last prep, I didn't train arms at all because we thought they were too big. And then again, by the end of my prep, they said, you know, your arms are looking a little small. So I want to make sure that again, it's not a case of building them. It's just keeping them all around dense, you know? So one thing I'm really not doing is restricting what I'm training at the moment because I do need density everywhere. It's not one specific area. It is everywhere that just needs to be projected more. So yes, that's a little bit of muscle mass, but that's also density. So that's why I really have enjoyed, been enjoying running. And I've also been enjoying functional fitness because it's keeping my body fat down. Um, at the moment, my weight is dropping really nicely since we've kind of had this schedule going on of adding in functional training. I've been hitting around 12,000 steps a day. Now that seems like a lot, but at the moment I don't do a lot like i don't move a lot i am in the office constantly and because dubai is ridiculously hot or it has been ridiculously hot in the summer i have not been able to get out i haven't been able to get out of the house and go for walks and i personally yes i can do treadmill walks it just doesn't it's just not very nice so that's why i've been enjoying doing the runs we've been going out now for more steps in the morning and the evening because obviously now it's a lot less hot so things have been moving nicely again we've been hitting targets we've been being where we need to be so i'm happy with how my body is responding with that and then why i've added in so much running is because me and my friend have also signed ourselves up for a 10k in four weeks time so it seems like a lot yes but i've also come to the conclusion of like i'm honestly really happy with where i'm at and how i'm moving like how everything is going and i don't feel like i'm pushing myself too far like i know what burnout feels like and i know if i'm doing too much and i don't feel that at the moment i said that to my therapist and she said i feel like you know where your limits are now so i think you'll be a lot more aware of them like if you start to feel burnt out you'll pull back on training you'll pull back on work and you'll take more care of yourself which is something i'm so much more aware of now out of prep and this is why i haven't stepped on stage the rest of this year and i don't know when i will be stepping back on stage because i need that awareness so yeah so that's what we're doing training wise at the moment at the moment nutrition wise i'm still struggling with wanting to weigh foods wanting to track wanting to meal prep which again sounds really lazy and it all of these things i feel sometimes do make me sound lazy but honestly, I'm trying to be really aware of, again, wanting to do all these things versus having to do all these things because someone's told me to do them. So at the moment, we're intuitive eating still. I know I'm getting anywhere between 1,800 to 1,200 calories a day. I know I am. And my body composition is also changing a lot. Like my waist is coming in a lot more. My legs are coming down size-wise since I started running. And when I say size-wise, they feel denser, but they just feel less fatty because i hold a lot of my body fat on my lower body i like how it looks but also i know it needs to come down so that's why i've also enjoyed adding in all of this stuff because it's helping me reshape my body without having to think about it like i'm doing cardio but it's something that i'm enjoying doing you know so probably at the beginning of november i definitely want to try and start tracking again try and making sure that i can be aware of obviously what food i'm having my protein intake all that type of thing if i'm honest me and max have been making like meals and stuff each evening like i've had at least four meals a day with a snack like it everything feels where it needs to be i had a conversation with someone the other day that's then they said that the reason they took so long off training and dieting and everything like that is because they needed to want to feel these things again and that's exactly where i'm at the moment and i don't feel ashamed about that anymore i'm just rolling with it so this is what we're going with this is what we're doing so yeah i'm very happy with things but yeah i've got the rest of the day i've got to do little bits here and there I've got a few closing clients and then we might go out this evening just to do like something spontaneous so yeah, that's pretty much it. So tonight we are going to watch the cricket <laughs> at this huge stadium that has been across our house like the entire time, our apartment the entire time. We've never been there before. So we wanted to go and watch it and England's playing. So we thought, let's have a... England versus West Indies. Hmm. Interesting. Now we've got to walk all the way over there. Yeah, we're going to walk. We're going to try and actually walk over there because apparently Max says there's a tunnel. But I'm a bit skeptical about it, so me, we'll me, see. Yeah. This is the fuck off huge tunnel that is making me walk down <laughs> across the road. There's a hole, and this is the huge road. This is hilarious. <laughs> Look how pretty the skyline is. And after 15 minutes, we've made it. Now dark, but it's good. Yeah, that's where our house is. Shoot in. 
get some good sweat and I'm just willing to platinum. It was 25 dirham, which is literally 10 pounds. I mean, friends. done for the day and I'm now just about to have an hour and a half massage which I cannot wait for like I think this has been something that I have been putting off like I haven't had a massage in ages because I've just been like it's just been on the back burner and I don't know if anyone else is the same like massages and stuff like sometimes is effort even though the people that I get the massage done by they come to my house so I, I don't know what's been going through my mind but anyway I am having an hour and a half massage and I'm really really excited for it and today I've just kind of spent time kind of messaging a lot of people for the challenge and stuff like that and honestly well firstly one it breaks my heart to hear people go through kind of something similar to what I went through because it sucks feeling not motivated not feeling like you want to train and feeling like like there's no hope in it you just don't want to go after your goals anymore like it's a really strange feeling but like it is there and it happens and so many people have lost their mojo more than like more than I thought so I'm really excited for this challenge a lot of people are signing up now which I'm super super excited for we are starting obviously the challenge on the 28th of October I think this video will probably be out after that if you're seeing this video and you feel like you are losing your mojo you felt lost with motivation for training you just want to enjoy training and moving your body again please sign up to the challenge because I honestly swear I've been working so hard in the last couple of months. I want to use this platform as somewhere where I can give you guys more information, more topics, more knowledge on not have to always chase after something to feel a fulfillment with loving the way you look or loving the way that you move your body, if that makes sense. So anyway, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Please message me. Please just sign up. Honestly, you won't regret it, I promise you. I'm a little bit closer. I'm actually so excited that she's posted YouTubes and stuff. This needed to be documented and shown that she won in Olympia. So I have had a busy couple of weeks in the best way possible, but also like exhausting, you know, but um, just having some breakfast. Breakfast? See, this is what I mean. My head having lunch or like late lunch afternoon because it's usually like three o'clock, so technically it's not lunch. Anyway, I did a class this morning, did a run this morning, stretching class, got my nails done, which very fall-esque and I'm obsessed. They're so, so cute. So I wanted to go for like a little, they're kind of like brown burgundy color. Absolutely, yeah, love. So, but yeah, I'm feeling good. Like it's, I said this on the podcast the other day. If you haven't watched the podcast, please go watch because I've been doing some solo sessions and I've actually really enjoyed doing them. I finally am starting to feel myself again, which is just really, really nice. Like just to feel excited to go to the gym, excited to want to do things and have that like drive again. I think a couple of months ago, I kind of got that a little bit, but I was still quite exhausted. It was still quite forced, like, and it just didn't feel like I still wanted to do it. And like I said, the rest of 2024, I said this from when I finished my last prep in March, I said the rest of 2024, I want to make sure that I'm doing things that I want to do because I 
I have the passion, I want to do them versus having to do them. We've really, really been working on that recently and like it's been a huge difference. And one thing that I'm gonna speak about in this video today, what has helped me with a huge difference is therapy. So I've gone back to therapy, got myself a new therapist as well. I've worked with her for like the last three weeks and I actually have been using BetterHelp, who is actually sponsoring this video. I've been an advocate for therapy for a very, very long time and I haven't gone back to therapy because I think therapy made me feel like sometimes when you talk about things and you're vulnerable after therapy it makes me sometimes feel worse about talking about those certain things if that makes any sense so I kind of got the courage up and I was like right let's start therapy again instead of it making me feel bad after it's been really lifting me up and making me feel so much more like intact with what I need to do to make myself feel better, if that makes sense. So I think sometimes it's very easy for people to think therapy, you know, talk about your problems, talk about your feelings, and it's easy to just sit in those feelings after and for the rest of the day or for the rest of the week or whatever, because it just makes you feel not great. I've really switched my mindset towards it and I've really liked my therapist that I've been talking to. So that has been a huge, huge change for me. So if you are wanting to work with BetterHelp, I, have a discount code and I do have a link which I will put in the description box below and put more information on the screen and stuff like that but it's a monthly service I do a session once a week and it's so consistent because I think for me I wasn't consistent with therapy so then I would put things off put it off and it makes again things worse build up all that type of thing and it just it's not effective it's not so I really really enjoyed having these kind of like sessions and it's just it's just been enjoyable it's I've really really enjoyed it so very very happy with all that type of stuff but so I need to eat this I've got therapy or I've got a, I've got a meeting in 15 minutes posing session therapy another posing session so it's a lot but I'm really excited for this all to happen and I think we're in a good position for things to so just kind of keep moving forward so I know I'm like oh my god we only have like technically two months now until we're actually like thinking about announcing and I'm like that's not enough time so yeah so I'm now kind of like pushing things a lot more making sure that everything's just in the right place so then we can just get things started I think that's that will help a lot in terms of navigating a little bit because sometimes I do feel a little bit in limbo because it's like I do want to compete again and I want to work towards that but every time I try to work towards that it just feels it's still not 100% there, which I know I'm still recovering from, and that's fine. But I think now, instead of being like, cool, I have no goals, because for, that, for a long time it was that. I was like, don't put any goals in place so you don't feel that pressure that you had before. But now I feel ready to make those small goals, to be like, right, what are the small goals that I have each week, each month, to make sure I'm getting back to where I want to for potentially going into a show again, potentially doing other things, because it sometimes it's just all or nothing. And I've struggled with the all or nothing mindset for so long, it's either all or nothing. And I need to find that in between a bit better. Okay, cool, thank you so much. That means a lot and it, it makes me feel just, it really, these sessions have really helped a lot just, just speak about things. Because again, it's, sometimes there's things that are just in my head but it's nice to just say it so it's out in the open, you, we can just discuss it. So it, these sessions have really helped me a lot. They really have. And I'm gonna now hibernate in these for the next like hour. So, yeah. How are you gonna turn the camera off now? <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs>
Okay, so today was really fun. The beach workout was so much fun, but my god, that was hard. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was, but it also still was really tough. Like, we did all of the whole workout in completely barefoot. Obviously, swimming, which I did not expect we were gonna do that much swimming, like actual full on swimming, being submerged in water. We did running, we did piggyback rides, like, it was. It was fun, but it was hot. It was very, very hot today. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Before we go, I do want to show you an outfit I got sent by Women's Best. Now, this is their Define 2 Seamless Collection. And I'm a big fan. Like, I haven't trained in it or anything like that yet. Do you know what I really like? The length of these shorts. I think the length of these shorts are really nice. Recently, a lot of my stuff has been a little too short. And it's annoying because, obviously, I'm pulling them down and all that type of thing. But these are a very, very good length. So I'll, I'd like to see how they hold up when I train, when I run and stuff and see if they kind of rise, but I don't think they will because they're quite like they're stuck, you know what I mean? So I like it, the seamless collection. Love the colour. I love the back as well. Like it's a really nice crop back and stuff like that. So yeah, big fan. They also got me some leggings as well, which again I haven't actually tried on and I haven't really been wearing leggings at the moment, if I'm honest, because it's too hot. I don't feel comfortable in leggings. I've so I've just been enjoying wearing shorts, but I like the colour of these and they're cute, like nice and stretchy, same material as this. So thank you, women's best, for sending me these. Um so so anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps support my channel. If you haven't already, head over to the posing portal if you want anything to do with posing, all that fun stuff. All the information is down below. If you haven't watched or listened to the podcast yet, please do because I've got so many cool, exciting guests on uh, coming up and I'm pretty much just interviewing a lot of people from the Olympia, which is really fun. So if there is anyone that you specifically do want to see, please let me know, I'd love to know. And yeah. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.